what is going on angels we are live the striders angels clan battle civil war has broken out amongst the angels gentlemen and uh this is going to be a different type of clan battle here tonight because we're featuring two team captains who absolutely hate each other it's a grudge match we have bad blood the gauntlet has been thrown I, I'm I'm hyped, guys. Stride of the champ here. I got the doctor with me, the man who knows everything about everything. What's going on, Mr. <laughs> Dong? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm absolutely pumped for this event. Um, it looks like they're already getting started here. Uh... It's different than probably uh, any other clan battle people have been a part of. Usually, the clans they have very strict rules on behavior, on sportsmanship. They shake each other's hands. They touch after the match you're gonna see none of that here because you know you're gonna see teabagging you're gonna see shit talk you're gonna see excessive alcohol use and you're gonna see blood yetting letting uh I i'm really hyped for the event it it it's it's a free-for-all it's a free-for-all dong well technically it's it's a, a team objective <laughs> but i know what you're what you mean well y you never know you never know in these events dong because i would not be shocked if a team fight just breaks out over something in the middle of one of the rounds <laughs> But, uh, Dong, so we, we said we got two people here who don't like each other and, and that a feud, a, a fight broke out. But, uh, your understanding, what, what the hell did this blood feud start? How did it start? What, what's going on? Why do these guys dislike well, each other so much? Well, it, it appears that, um, Crafty, uh, the judge that presides over the Wall of Shame, went mad with power and, um, essentially banished uh velvet hammer to the wall of shame for less than reasonable uh reasons yep yeah that, that was my my understanding that that's hammer's interpretation too gentlemen judge crafty we have a wall of shame for for just poor behavior in game like archery and all of that and and hammer has complained that that judge crafty has shown some favoritism to certain members whether they go on the wall or not and, and there's hypocrisy in his judgments depending on how much he likes the person who's being judged and uh there was a gray area in the rules about catapulting and the yeah. judge got put on for catapulting and uh apparently he, he's he took it very seriously and he dropped the gauntlet so um apparently according to crafty a catapult by extension is basically like a big bow same with a ballista like uh if wood meets string it, it's uh it's a no-go <laughs> Gentlemen, I mean, we're, we're if, if you, if you don't have much experience with Strider's Angels, uh, these people do not read anything. Like I post very detailed like information about the events. People say they're right. they're they're ready, the and then dude, the they're like, "What time is it? What do I got to do? Where do I got to be? What I team am I?" I on? don't think they can read. And I like, really don't think they can read. It is posted on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> you had to click on it to say that you're gonna be there. Ah, there he is, the general. General, big night tonight. Velvet Hammer. Thank you, thank you. How big are you tonight, uh, doing general. today, champ? How you doing, Dog uh, Hammer? Excited to be here. We're we're very oh, yeah. excited, very excited. I mean, General, wh why do you throw the gauntlet down at at Old Crafty, a a longtime member and friend of myself? You know, people can say this is just about uh, the catapult play, but in my mind, it was the last straw in a long series of corrupt moves by the by the craft man. I know that deep down, he's someone that we need as part of the angels, but sometimes when you get a big head, you need it to get smacked down to size, and that's what I'm aiming to do now tonight. There are some questions that you're going to use some dirty tactics tonight. Uh, we saw you brought some archer mains onto the team. You brought some some clan members who are who are you know known for for wearing headbands while playing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what what's going on here? What's the strategy going to be? You know, I think the archer play. I think uh, it's well known the stance that the community takes on archers, and that uh, you know they really are, are something that could be a scourge when it comes to gameplay of, of chads in the melee. But they're people too, and I believe in the new great world of uh, acceptance and, and training these archers to play a little bit of melee right. And I can tell you that nothing is going to get some of those boys more fired up than taking a couple arrows. And if that keeps them away from the general, then that they're doing their job. Archers are people too. I, 
I, I'm Dong, the man of the people. Dong, as, as, <laughs> as someone who hates archers and as my fellow commentator <laughs> Dong Hammer had an archer kill counter on his stream for a long time, I, I'm a little ashamed of the comments that were just said here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you heard it from Velvet. Archers are people too. Archer, I mean... Archers are people too. We're, we're starting a new inclusive branch of the Angels where we respect archers apparently. That's, that's assuming though, that's assuming that the hammer wins. <laughs> All right, boys, we got the hype man up in the chat right now. Crafty. Yo, let's go, baby. Oh, man. Crafty. Are you ready? Are you ready? We, we getting ready. We getting ready. Crafty, did that did that voice just crack? Do I smell or, or hear a little bit of fear in there? What's going on, man? How you feeling? No, man, I'm feeling good, dude. I'm always good. I'm just drinking, baby. Oh, man. All right. I like it. I like it. Crafty, wh why did Velvet Hammer call you out? Okay, so... If you want, there's there's no real, like, grandiose story. He played Catapult, and I was like, no, you can't be playing Catapult. And then he's like, oh, no, you can't put me on the wall for playing Catapult. Hey, cuck behavior is cuck behavior, baby. Cuck you can't do it. Cuck behavior is cuck behavior. I, I, I agree. The angels. I'm, I'm a supporter on no Catapult. You, you know, I've been clear on that one, but it, it seems to be a gray area amongst the uh, community. And, uh, you know, here tonight, we'll, we'll we'll get to decide if Catapult play is fair game or not, I guess. We've got a strat. I'm you, not going to give you, anything no, away. No, 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 no. Because there, there, there was a lot of questions on if your team would have a strategy at all. And there is a strategy? Yes, there is. It took about two minutes to do, and we practiced <laughs> it in warm-up, and we got it done. It is all ready. You you practiced it already. Yep. Master so, strategist. Yeah, so so we came up and practiced and like perfected the strategy at the event in the warm ups. That, that, that's yes. good to hear. That's good to hear. <laughs> I, I, I never knew Crafty had these leadership skills, but I'm excited. He to wrote see it, it up on a napkin. He, he passed it around. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, it's good. It's good, guys. Let's go. All right, Crafty, be, before we let you go, any final words for Team Velvet Hammer? I think that, you know, okay, I, I think this is all in good fun. I just want to have fun tonight. I know he's going to lose, so I'm just going to have fun. Uh, we, we had a member who declared for Team Velvet Hammer, and then once he saw that he pulled an Archer main onto his team, he said, nope, I'm, I won't play for this man anymore. I'm switching over to Team Crafty, Seasick Khan, the Archer Hunter himself. Oh, let's go. <laughs> We're going to pull him up. That's my boy right there. Khan is, is probably the most alpha dude in the chivalry community, and he absolutely hates archers. But Khan, there's a, bit, a little bit of controversy around your name over the last, like, 48 hours. What happened? You were on Team Hammer. What's going on? Yeah, uh, Khan is pretty much allergic to archery. And, uh, you know, I was very conflicted about standing shoulder to shoulder with uh, such a cook. And, you know, it's just uh, <laughs> it's like oil and water. The two don't mix. Like, how could I look in the mirror at myself and be Khan the archer hunter when I'm protecting you? No yeah, so, I mean, no <laughs> so go, uh, According to Velvet Hammer, archers are people, too. And well, they deserve respect. Well, a formidable person. But, you know, <laughs> but uh, my archer kill count as of now is eight. Eight already oh, tonight. Make it nine. Tonight, oh, nine. Tonight. To the ni oh, my just God. Nine. We, we haven't I mean, we haven't gotten through warm ups and this man's almost on double digit archer kills. Did I say eight? I'm sorry. It's nine. Now, there, there seems to be some some beef with Stepbo, who was a last minute replacement and is the person who caused you to uh, to switch teams. Are you basically going to target him tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think he's got a hard on for me, and, you know, I don't blame him. You can't be a savage without having haters, so we just let him hate. <laughs> and, uh, we appreciate the hate. That's, that's, how that, that's how we roll. All right, one minute, and we will be live. Zong, what, what do you think the, key, the keys to victory are going to be here? You know, I've never played in, in competitive team objective, but the Dong Hammer is an expert, as I said, on all things and has actually led clan battles before. What are the keys in these type of games, Dong? Well, I mean, obviously having a, uh, a strategy is a, a good start. Now, it, it surprised me to hear that Crafty had a two-minute strat that he had written <laughs> down and given to all of his members. So, I mean, hey, it might work out. 
you never know uh it was maybe uh just a piece of paper that says kill velvet hammer and then like he just passed heavy it swings around. only <laughs> yeah yeah heavy swings only that was what what the strategy is on, uh, yes. on crafty's uh I'm, I'm curious to see if everyone can adhere to the strategy that was clearly decided right before the game <laughs> yeah ah <laughs> oh, perfect the Masons, the Team Crafty, Agatha, Team Hammer on defense. And this is a perfect match to start on here, Dong, because this whole this whole war started over, over Velvet Hammer using, you know, catapults and trebuchets. Crafty's team on a rampage here. They're just going to destroy all the ranged warfare weaponry on the map. You know, they're going to go for destroying the... Uh, oh, I got to change the spectate. They're, they're going to go to, uh, you know, to destroy the catapults, destroy the trebuchets. They say there is no siege equipment allowed. It's cuck behavior for low skill players, and they're just going to get rid of it. Yeah, right? I, I think that they're just going to kill all the siege weapons out of spite, to be completely honest. You know... It's in their blood. <laughs> All right, match started. Little Pony out here with a shovel, boys. Taking a 3v1 and still hanging in there. Looks like the Masons, though, are getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of room uh, as as the Piss Lord and Velvictus just finish one of the we, last members. Oh, oh, we actually have a fight going at the uh, ramp. We, Looks like the we, right we side won. Have... We What's already have a, a uh, catapult in play, uh, Randy and Stepbo. Oh yes, yes, he did. He did bring a uh, an LK member, a new LK <laughs> member at that, to uh, for objective player. And uh, let, let's be honest here, they're known around the Angel Squad as, as low kills, as the name of the clan. Apparently, that is oh. not it. But uh, that's, yeah, what, that's I, what they've I been said all week. I always tell people it's Ligmanites, but, uh, you know, they each is now, own. Now, the ram has been moving, but there is a massive group of Agathian warriors on the last ramp. Do, do they ignore that, or do they keep going in? For some reason, Chivalrous Femboy just engaged them in a 1v10. Chad-like behavior, but we're not yes, in a public very lobby. Chad -like. Not in a public lobby here. And now, interesting strategy, but... Crafty's team has pushed past the ram to claim the catapult, and they're not actually pushing the ram. I think they just want the catapult out of play. Yeah, they just want. Yeah, they, they want the catapult. But again, it's they been it reclaimed dead. by LK Randy. Someone over oh here, Clay God. TV on the ballista as an engineer. Poor, poor Moist Turtle just got deleted from the game. Uh, took a direct <laughs> hit by the catapult. And that that's a friendly catapult shot, right? <laughs> Possibly. I, that, uh, that, that, that's the things that scared me about the Angels crew because we're we're not unknown for team killing people who who kill us with siege equipment. So uh, Turtle might be back there with a firebomb right now. Now they have gained uh, a little bit of room here on the right dong, but it looks like Agatha is pushing them or Team Hammer is pushing them off. But while that's happening, left they are ram. Heavy right, yeah, and left ram moving. just goes right in. It, it seems like they're just kind of going a back and forth. This is the toughest part right here, though, where both Rams kind of converge, and you have to win the team fights. And after the fucking Lo Looking at hit. kill counts already, Spartan Scholar off to an 8-1 and one start. Clay TV, 6-3. and three. On, team, uh, on Team Crafty, Soder Dave starting off at a 6-2 and two with Sal Goodman, 5-3. and three. Belvictus, a 5-1. Desert Dolphin, 6-2. and two. Some strong, some strong KDAs early. We're gonna see if these people can keep that up. I mean, it's gonna be tough to hold a high KDA in this lobby. Well, it looks like uh, Comet Josh and Piss Lord are pushing up the, the middle ramp. Uh, the Masons will have the numbers advantage, it looks like, uh, if they get reinforcements here in a second. Yep. Now, now there is a tactical banner placed on the back of uh, Team Velvet Hammer. Yeah, that, I see him back uh, there. A bunch of people were just congregating on. Professor Obscene using a crossbow, just firing like a maniac behind defensive placements. That, 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 it looks like he's deleting people. Uh, yeah, no, if they're knights, they, they do get deleted by the crossbow. I think it does like a hundred and, uh, it's like a one shot to the head to a now, knight. Would you I'm say team, sure. uh, I was going to say, is team crafty making a mistake, not taking over the catapult, but it looks like commander Varric has decided that he's going to break crafty's rules on catapult play. 
Oh. And he just somebody. completely missed the ram and shot the castle. Some, somebody is uh, is shaming Varric uh, <laughs> by just pointing at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the level of focus we're going to need to advance the objective here because it, it seems like right now Team Hammer has a little bit of the momentum holding very strong. And they are very close to pushing the objective here. It looks like even numbers. What I, what I like seeing are the Masons right here. They're they're mobbing and target switching. Take out that mm -hmm. low that you know low hanging fruit. Get people in the back. You gotta gank we, in games like this. We we, we got another uh, respawn wave on uh, on blue. I, I think and... Team Crafty is making a mistake on the left dong. They're fighting yeah, the respawn, no, they... not on the cart. They, they, they just want blood, you know, maybe they're having a little fun, who, who knows, but they, they do need to get on the cart. And, and Dong, it could all be part of the strategy. Yeah, yeah. The, we the, we the were strategy. not in that meeting, but it, it, they are almost to the gates, two minutes left. They need to win probably one more team fight here though, Dong. General Hammer pushed up very far at the archer lines. Yeah, but he's, uh, oh, he's he been taken down. out. It fell to an archer, I believe, in melee right there. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. And I not think enough. the Masons <laughs> might be gaining numbers here. If they get everyone that's alive up on the cart, we might have a push. Yep, 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 there, yep, yep, there we go. They got to get on the cart. They're fighting off of it. You know... They we're at the I, point I, I where they... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Don. No, I, I, I get that Crafty uh, hates the, the catapult, but the catapult is almost uh would really clear this, out. Uh, point. There is actually someone. <laughs> Bomb Squad is over here fighting at the catapult, trying to keep, it looks like, Varric off and winning the fight. Some people on Team Crafty might be making a mistake of pushing in too far, too quick. But we have one last, it looks like, big wave coming here. They need to just get on the cart. Yeah, if only they made a, uh, a weapon that could clear out a ton of people in one shot that are all grouped together. Well, they, they might. Mm, it's going to be close here. Inches to go, a game of inches right here. It looks like Team Hammer... Yeah, they might, they might pull might it out. Might have them. Ten seconds left. I don't know if anyone else is going to be there. An absolute mob. An absolute mob. So, I, I think Crafty is going to have to change his stance on catapults because <laughs> it makes this, uh, this objective a lot harder. Uh... <laughs> Let's go, boys. The charge of Warden Blade TDM. It's all about killing. So, gentlemen, special rule set for these TDM matches. Uh, can someone communicate this in game, too, for me? Is that it's not about how many kills your team gets. It's how many times you kill the, uh, the other team's general. So, at the end of the round, we're going to determine the victor by who has died more, Crafty or Velvet Hammer. It's all about protecting your lord and savior and king. I think that uh, the team with Little Pony on, uh, they're, they're going to excel at this because essentially Velvet's going to be living in a, a box. That right That there. is Whoop. true. And uh, oh, already Jazzy, Jazzy with a, a nice charge. Velvictus also on horseback. I, I think though with the charge of Warding Blades, the horses can kind of negate that. Menacing Mullahs riding around at about a half mile an hour, not even a jog. <laughs> Unsure of the strategy here. All right, it looks All like right. Team Velvet Hammer has claimed the tree. They're going to make their stance over there. Uh, Don, yeah, yeah. are you able to find Crafty? Where, where is uh, Crafty? I, I found a Velvet Hammer. Uh, Crafty uh, appears to be... Uh, he's hiding. <laughs> he's hiding, okay. Would that go in the category of cuck behavior? Uh, maybe. Here, let's, maybe. let's see if I can find him. Crafty is on a horse. Crafty is on a horse. Interesting. So not playing defensive at all. No, he, he, he's not a horse <laughs> anymore. He, he just got knocked off of it. Well, let's see. Uh, Do, have we had a kill? No, he has not nope. died yet. Nope, nope. He just died. He, uh, he right. tried to 1v3 with a spear. Crafty's by himself. He's, nope. uh, he's in the middle of the match. Fighting two horses. <laughs> Does Crafty know the rules? <laughs> <laughs> there is a okay. nice, a nice push of uh, T 
team crafty members over here yeah no it's so crafty just needs to kind of stay behind his uh his, his teammates here so he doesn't incur any more deaths it's Sentry against his brother in arms, Shagum, and Sentry puts him down with the dagger, Dagger vs. Rapier. Two masters of their own weapon, Dagger wins this round. Hovakin is in the middle of the uh, the enemy team, uh, Beyblading as many people as humanly possible. He's, um, I mean, the man sitting here just swinging, hitting three people every swing, just absolutely spinning like a top. Po Povo plays actually interesting fact on an insane DPI setting. Like, I, I don't know how he controls his mouse. He but, doesn't. Uh, he spins he like doesn't. a baby. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she embraces the spin. Right now, Crafty's team is murdering them in kills, I will say that. Yeah, but, so, so Crafty has been a lot more active. He's uh, currently five takedowns, whereas Velvet Hammer is sitting at a solid one, one, one. Very, very passive, very passive. Some would say yeah. beta cuck behavior from the general. If, if you look, uh, he has built a fort next to a supply box, <laughs> a banner in the middle I of the I see, back. this is gonna be a very tough push. Now, uh, <laughs> Dong, can, can the horses ride over the, uh, the defenses or no? I don't think they can. I think if they run into the spike trap, they might they incur die. some some damage at least. But no, uh, uh, blue team really needs to get on uh, pushing Velvet Hammer. Yup, especially since they gave up the tree. I feel like the blue team should be at least up at these flags. But uh, right now they seem content to kind of hold the middle. I don't know if they're they're holding for one final push here or, or what the plan is. Okay, as you can see right there, the uh, the horse just took out that uh, defense, so it, it is a decent strategy. That is a good Horses strategy. Right. Right. Yep, Coming and, and in. yep, we just had cavalry ride through. Defense looks a dis little discombobulated. The infantry has to make it to the emplacement, though. Crafty has now died twice. Up, oh, piss lords coming in for uh, for velvet, seeing if he can make a play on him. Uh, and Pisslord's getting, uh, ooh, he just died to help me step bow, and, uh, not, not Shame, a good look. Shameful behavior by step bow. No, 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 he, he meleeed him. Like, oh, he meleeed, oh, yeah. God. Well, that's one of those that you go home, you can't look your mother in the eye when she asks what happened. <laughs> You just, just be like, help me, step bro. That's it. That's I had, what a, I happened. had a great day, mom. Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> now it looks like we just had cavalry make it to Velvet Hammer, but now they are down. I've lost sight of the general. Up, oh, general, going back to the banner, to the barricades. Big brain boy uh, just uh, charged into the middle of five people on the horse and <laughs> got destroyed. <laughs> Well, that, that's the thing here. This is not a public lobby, so you're not going to get away with the uh, the W key habits that you get in normal TO lobbies. I know I would be uh, very guilty of that myself. Velvet Hammer is still sitting at a solid one death. Four minutes Honestly, left here. All, all they have to do is kill Velvet once, and it evens up the game. Because Crafty only has two, they, two deaths. They got some numbers back there. And oh, someone almost made it to him. Cavalry got a shot on him. They, they need to chain these into multiple shots. Oh, uh, a big looking, shot. Uh, he got knocked down and he is bloody. Oh, he is very he's bloody. So close. They got to get on him quick if they're going to put him down. I just one saw one javelin or so. Health packs at, at Velvet Hammer. My like, God like. Almighty, the teamwork <laughs> over here. They're throwing an entire hospital at him. Again, they're trying. Oh, oh, Highland, oh, Highland on him. Fireball. No, and Velvet is down. Velvet's down. Oh, but Crafty died. Crafty once died too. again. But well, they do have here. they do have three infantry have almost made it to it to the hammer. And we do have a spear out there. We can get some spear shots on uh, on Velvet. We, we might have a possible kill here. 
We, we have we have infantry in the back lines and a cavalry got a shot on him. Yep. There now, he a goes. horse He's kick down. and there he goes. Are we at 3 3? Has Crafty died is the big question. Crafty no, has Crafty's died five, five times. Oh no. Velvet uh, sitting over here uh, playing Fortnite and. Uh... <laughs> I, I, I will say it was uh, a very, uh, very sweaty play style from Velvet Hammer. I think Crafty definitely won on style, but uh, but you know, them's the, the rules. That yep, them is the rules, and that is how we go. Let me get my my sheet up here. So it, it says here in the the, uh, the bio Gunpool. that uh, Phaedrid is your great grandfather, Strider. Um, <laughs> What's that all about? I, I didn't know that, you know, that Reasons. lore. Uh, I did not know that either, but uh, <laughs> that was that was placed in there by Velvet Hammer. So apparently there is a relation to royalty, as we should have known. Uh, Povachin yeah. swinging in complete circles. All right, now the defense already. Varric and Kama Josh off to three kills to start. Play TV leading the, uh, leading the Masons here. All right, let's let's see uh, let's see who's on the ballista on Crafty's team. It is Seasick Khan again, just collecting this data. <laughs> well, it looks uh, like we're gonna have a one v one here between Pova and Pishinir over the point, unless Saul Goodman can turn this into a two v one. Looks like heavy numbers moving in on. I want to say the left side, but that depends which way you're facing, I guess. Up, uh, oh, Pova can lost his weapon. He can still pull it out, though. Someone with the mole. Goodman oh. just missed a, a, a easy shot, unfortunately. Hate to see when those overheads uh, miss like that. Massive push over here. Prairie uh, did a very heavy drag and just took Velvet out. He, uh, he, he can't 1v5, though. He can't 1v5. Prairie, Prairie has been a, a, a shining icon of Team Crafty right now, really holding them in there. And uh, I think other people are going to have to pick up the killing potential. Yeah, no, again. I mean, so Soder Dave, if he was using an actual weapon that could kill more than one person at a time, I feel like uh, he just he'd, he'd bulldozer this team. Mm -hmm. I think Velvet what Crafty's team has seemed to lack is, is engineer play. Look at look at this. Lil Pone already has gone past the fight on his way to the boats. Yeah, no, that, weapon, that man weapon is an objective machine. Sprinting past everyone. I don't think they know he's here. I think he's going for the second boat. Oh, I, I someone caught wind of him. Ghost Killer has has found him. They're trying to cut him off. Pony breaks out the shovel. She's trying to give him the moves here. Breaks into crouch, makes a miss with the crouch, but I, I think it might be a, a very I, nice attempt at a big play. But I think Pones might be down uh, here as this is two v one. I think we've probably foiled his plan <laughs> by spectating him. <laughs> All right, we got. Oh, we got a few very interesting. That we have some masons in a crouch over here at the docks. Three of them in a crouch walk. Will this be like what? What is the play they're doing here? Um, they might be doing so the they're combo. crouched, I... but their weapons are sticking up, up above the platforms. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I don't know. It seems they're trying to do like Metal Gear Solid, some sort of stealth play here. But someone is is Pova is is glitched into a box hiding now. The other two guys, I think, said fuck it and started to fight. Pova's doing a, a very large flank around the second yeah, it, ship. It looks like the first ship has been completely claimed. All right, we finally see some engineer play by Chingo Reno. I think he's a random player. Uh, yeah, Pova can just, uh, just, just, oh, he, he, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Do you see this? He did it. He, did he, he, he lit it. No. I, I, I lost focus on that. Up under like eight people's noses, he literally walked in what with a, the what a play. wave and Jesus. just <laughs> lit the fuse on the bomb. Team Crafty lacking awareness. Little Pwn on the objective, but I think he's going to be cut down. Finally, it looks like a defense being put up by Team Crafty here. Somebody has uh, has whipped out the engineer. 
class. Finally. I think this is what they, they desperately needed here, Don. I, I think that's been the biggest key to, to Team Bell the Hammer has been engineer play. But unfortunately, someone right here, LK Randy, is in their back lines as no one even attempts to fight him, <laughs> cutting down the engineers. Pumpkin is literally inside of their fort that they made. Pova, Pova, super sneaky right now. Super sneaky. Yeah, he is. It says on his uh, his profile here that he is he is currently single, and then in parentheses he's not affiliated with any clan. Uh, little Pwn setting it off. Little Pwn got got the defuse, and now we're gonna see. Oh, someone just got sent into the water. I think that was Comet. Commander Vera oh. crawling for safety, executed yep, nope, by, nope. by Sans oh, the look Red. Oh, all these people crawling around. But Sans around. the Red pushed up a little bit too far, executed. Oh, man. Doesn't matter as the objective is down. I think, Dong, these might be the two easiest points to defend right here on Galen Court. Yeah, no, this is... Uh... This is, this is a tough one uh, for the attackers, for sure. I, I would love to see some engineer emplacements start to be placed here, but unfortunately, th this does not look good as, Ag uh, as the Masons have made it through and there is not one Agatha person at the door. <laughs> big, big Braid Boy is literally putting down uh, barricades. On fire as with as a pickaxe and, and, and big. doing work. Little Pwn again makes it through the back lines. Menacing Mollusk, we haven't seen too much of him with a Hallbird. Unfortunately, they've already claimed the doors here. Yeah, no, that this, I don't think they have a permit for this steamroller that they uh, just used. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I was just about to say, do you think the play is just to start defending the next one? And yeah, no, no. When 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 you saw that many uh, masons uh, just stacked. Oh up. yes, and they did have apparently engineer emplacements on the other side of the wall to, to slow to slow down the mason. So uh, Crafty's team is gonna have to have two engineers. It looks like we we have one bigger One's brain boy. One's about to be executed. Saul Goodman is on the wall. Three v one. Pistoneers are here. Pistoneers are here. So. Uh... It's tough. You, you need people to win fights, but right now they're they're down in numbers at these fights. So you, it's really you got to have someone hold against four or five people waiting for the reinforcement wave, and, and that's just not gonna happen against this caliber of player. Little Pony up at the objective again with his shovel, no, just, shoveling people, placing placing the explosives. My God Almighty! I, I mean, the, the man has performed at a level that. His score will never show. Look at the holding here, but they've all been wiped. Spawn wave coming. They need to get down on the objective in numbers. Almost some reverse engineering happening by the Masons as it looks like they're trying to barricade Team Crafty. <laughs> trying to give them some help. <laughs> and oh, man, the objective they, they, is yep, down. They got it. All right, this next point, um, generally you want to defend the last, like, three. These ones in the back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the ones in the back. One, and two, hold three. the center for as long as you can until it looks like it's going to drop. Um, the, the front ones are Right now, Dong, there, there is no defense on the back. <laughs> no, no, not not one one single defend. Oh, well, a heavy hitter has just joined the lobby as as BG Levin apparently declares for Team Crafty. That might help even the odds. Yes, uh, BG Levin. He's gonna he's gonna get his pole axe out and he's he's just gonna start stabbing. Like that's what he does. Yep, very very strong player, and I think that's what Crafty needs. A few more people on his team are gonna turn some of these fights, grab a few kills, and then. It's all a numbers game here. You get a few people out of the way early, and then the, the fights just kind of steamroll from there. Little Pony just barricaded himself into the objective, and they don't see him. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just, just hammered away. down one whole objective. By himself, not even seen. He didn't even turn around to get the last one. He knew it was a done deal. He already started heading to the next one. Look at him in, he, in a crouch walk right now. Yeah, no, he behind entombed a bush. himself. He Waiting. entombed himself. All right, he he sees an it. opportunity, it looks oh, yeah. like. 
He, he's he's going. He's got a plan. He's got something out. Oh, uh, no. Well, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> LK Randy is absolutely uh, popping off this round. He's been consistently towards the top of the board. Quite a defensive uh, structure placed over here, though, with a banner by Team Crafty. Three minutes only to hold. This this is not an automatic point right here. No, no, no. This is uh, this is actually where um, where Crafty's team could actually uh, take a W on this. Because three minutes is is. It goes fast. It goes fast. They it, need it, to get those engineer placements back up, and they need people not to immediately select war monks. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I will put the uh, the camera on the inside and see how many people choose uh, War Monks when the, the time comes. Banner is still there. Defense helps the, for the moment. They're pushing out a little bit. Engineers putting putting down, who is that? Big Brain Boy might be MVP of Team Crafty right now. Well, so I think they have three engineers now, so I, I think they're good on engineers because, uh, I mean, look at how many more structures yep, are being yep. placed. That is, and this is, oh, and I see more being placed even now. I mean, Crafty's in a very good position right here. I mean, they, they made it over halfway through the timer and we're really down to the home stretch. They, they can't get the team wiped. Little Pony, I think, was running in there with a bear trap. Good push coming here from the Masons, though. Very even-looking fight. Need someone oh. with a Highland sword or, or something to hit a big shot here. Ooh, good good um, fire pot on the door. That's uh, gonna buy yeah, a lot of 100%. time. A hundred percent. A fire pot could turn the game right here. It's been it's been hard fought. I feel like Team Velvet Hammer has had the momentum, but a minute left here to hold for Team Crafty. They need to do anything they can to stall right now. These engineers need to be up placing barricades. I see someone someone already placing stuff, and I see two now up. Numbers at the door, though. This this could come down to a second. Very yeah, no, big th push. There's a big wave. There's Very a big wave big coming. Very big push. The spawn wave needs to hold out another. Oh, this might be a wipe here. It's looking oh, like man. a wipe. 30 they seconds need to hit left. The door. Will they up? Oh, they're on the door. It's melting oh, quickly. Oh, no. Uh, door up, down. Steph? Hate to see it. Such All a good right, defense let... here by Team Crafty. Yeah. But not only are the Masons through, they're almost at the objective. All right. How, how, many, how many monks do you think are going to die to the chandelier? One. Oh, one went down. One monk. <laughs> Can I catch the name? Oh, I didn't catch it in time. There's, uh, there's one more chandelier. Who will use it for good or evil? Oh, one one of the war monks just jumped down from the second floor, yep, broke yep. his legs, and was executed. <laughs> just just war monk things, yes. And five Velvet minutes Hammer is, there. Uh, is it's, a, it's a long. That's a very long time, and it looks like they're already yeah. Looks like they've been they got a one shot on it up, and someone is here sneaking shots, and no one sees them. At Jazzy, Jazzy's coming in. And I even see sledgehammers broken out. Yep, yep. We got uh, Mollusk. Mollusk got uh, two sledge hits on it. Pony. Right, defense is being built back up. I lost sight of Pony. I do see that we have an archer up here with good cover. Sexy Pineapple. I don't even know who Sexy Pineapple is. That sounds like a random. That sounds and... like a random in the lobby. Interesting has himself in a very good spot here to snipe archer shots down. Moist turtle coming in with a Highland sword. Well, he almost just ate a shovel shot. Yeah, oh, no, did. one v one v eight right there. Uh, it's getting very difficult to win those group fights in this type of server, Dong. That's the real question. Uh, no. Stepbo is up there. Just uh, with an Archer is there. That. No one even sees him crouch there. Just whacking away. Archer on Archer Prime. I think oh, that might be game here. He's still here. going. He's still going. Look. He's he's uh, he's downed and he's just punching the tomb. Close round. Probably the closest round we've had so far. 
Yes, little definitely. little phone. Uh, what a what a standout in that round. Well, Dong, I think then it's time we make our de declaration. I think we're gonna have to help Crafty out this. Uh, the, the Dong and the Champ game. have declared for Team Crafty. Yeah, he's on the platform. All right, let's go. Oh God, he knocked me off. Uh, he has three deaths now to Crafty's <laughs> three deaths. <laughs> Crafty's sitting at a solid zero, zero, three. Oh. Some archery. I cannot. Some archery. I hate to see it. Velvet Hammer has died five times to Crafty's four. Alright. Alright, let's hope I... Crafty seems to be not moving in the back here. I'm gonna kind of guard him. <laughs> Dong, that huge wave behind you is where Crafty Yeah, yeah, I, I'm aware of it. <laughs> Curved bubbles. Uh, I went to go in for a fist kill on him and he just, uh, he just dumped me. All right, Velvet and Crafty both six to six. Oh, I, I got a takedown on Velvet, so he's seven. This is so Let's go, baby. All right, where's Velvet at? I think he's in the middle. No, that's corny. if we could get Velvet one more time. Well, I will say I'm playing pretty clean for no warm-up in uh, six beers. I am not, <laughs> but I'm also trying to go straight for Velvet. Yeah, unfortunately we're not in the comms. I don't know if we want to go in the comms. No, no <laughs> I don't. We should show right now. Yeah. They have only 30 troops left. Possible. Crafty can still pull out a W on this. Oh god, I was just reading chat and ran into the uh, pit. <laughs> Where is Velvet? Yeah, this, this one has given good. For like Un unfortunately, maybe minutes. maybe me and Dong should have declared. Me and Dong maybe should have declared a little bit earlier. Because <laughs> so I think it, it, uh, it evened out the killing potential quite a bit. 